In this tutorial, you will learn how to create Fiberman's head in Blender 3.0. Open your web browser and find some free model of the human head. Download it. Import it into the Blender. Select your model and change its display settings to display as bounds. It will help you to see what's going on later on. Go to the settings and make sure that curve, extra objects add-on is enabled. Now, press Shift plus A and add a new bounce spline. Lower resolution value to 4. Increase bounces up to 20,000. Be careful, it can be very heavy for your computer. Set bevel radius to 0.0002. You can play with other settings until you get the desired look. Let's tweak some of the splines hanging around the head. Go to the viewport overlay settings and enable visibility for all curves handles. In edit mode, select some handles and press G to move them towards the center of the mesh. If you can't see what you are doing, first select some handles then press Alt plus Shift plus C to hide overlays. To undo, simply press the escape key. Yeah, it's not so easy to find some handles, but you will do it. Don't give up. Now it is time to create a nice environment. Open your web browser and go to the hdrmaps.com, download empty concrete hall HDRI map texture. Back in the Blender, switch to Shading Workspace, and to Edit World Nodes. With Node Wrangler add-on enabled, select Background Node and press Ctrl plus T, to add necessary nodes. Load previously downloaded, HDRI map texture. To rotate the environment texture, simply change the rotation Z value in the mapping node. When you find a nice angle in the viewport, press Ctrl plus Alt plus Zero on the numpad, to position the camera. I like the tree map for reflections, but let's try to add some solid background, visible to the camera only. For this, add Mix Shader node. Duplicate Background node and add Light Path node. Connect all three nodes with Mix Shader. A solid background is very boring. Let's add a Ramp node and connect it with Background node. I have prepared some nice colors before. I think the red background harmonizes with dark reflective material pretty well. Use shortcut Ctrl plus T to create mapping nodes. Delete texture node. In the texture coordinate node, switch to window. The mapping location should be minus 0.5 for X and Y. We are missing gradient node, so let's add it to our nodes. Change type of gradient to spherical. Now, you should see a nice, vignette-like background in the viewport. It's time to add some metallic material to our fiber man's head. Set metallic to 1, base color to something darker, and lower the roughness to 0.1. Something is wrong with my material, I can't see reflections. I will fix it later on. Let's delete the default point light and increase splines resolution for viewport to 8 and the final rendering to 16. For the final rendering, it would be great to use the camera with a shallow depth of field. This effect is known in photography as bokeh. Select the camera and in the viewport display check show limits. Now we can easily select and move the focal point of the camera, without guessing it. My shader is still messed up, but finally, I found what was a problem. I have changed the environment mapping scale by accident. Stupid me, wasted so much time tweaking my material, and the problem was somewhere else. Don't forget to turn off the head model for rendering too. I hope that you liked my short tutorial. You know what to do if you like it or not. Bye.